In this video, I'm building every The Lord of the Rings army in LEGO and we'll build an epic battle with all the armies at the end as well as host an epic giveaway, so let's build. This story starts with a teenage elf named Elion. Elion is an elven scout who travels through Middle-earth and warns Lord Elrond of any perils. He's based in a beautiful elven valley called Rivendell, so I grabbed the set and now we need to add some elves walking around, so let's build this army. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a bunch of random bodies and added some elven heads and hair pieces so we have a nice elven population walking around. Suddenly, Elrond calls all elven men to arms and they start forging equipment for war, since there's a threat to the east. For this elven army, I want to make them look like the elves who come for aid at the Battle of Helm's Deep. So I grabbed a bunch of elven heads and added these blue torsos, legs and hoods, and now we can make an elven soldier. Though he's missing a cape, so I got a blue one and added it. So I made an army of these minifigures with swords and knives and now they're ready to march to war. And for this, I added the banner so all the allies know their faction. And now, let's take a look at some of the bad guys. One day, Elion is in a mission near Moria and travels inside, and for this, I built a small mineshaft and added some barrels and bones. Elion enters Moria but can't find any dwarves. He does notice some weird sounds, so he moves on to the next room and hides behind the door. So the first orc army we're building will exist out of Moria orcs, aka Moria goblins. So let's customize them. First, I made an orc with this axe and another one with a bow and quiver who can shoot some dwarves. Then, I also made this orc with a drum so he can make some drumming sounds just like we can hear in the movie. But I still feel like we're missing something. So I got these custom helmets from Ravenblocks and they add some nice detail to my orcs. I added some of these helmets to the rest of my army and now it looks way better. Elion sees that all the orcs are ready to march but then he sees one orc holding the banner with the Eye of Sauron. He remembers seeing the symbol before on Dol Guldur so let's travel there. He arrives at Dol Guldur and suddenly sees a bunch of tents. For this next army, we're going to build the heavily armored orc army from Gundabad. For this, I grab my Gundabad orcs and some armor to make them look a bit more intimidating. I added some halberds and a variety of swords, as well as an orc commander and an orc carrying a banner with the Eye of Sauron on his back. As an extra, I also added this ballista from the Battle of the Five Armies set. I guess it works fine. And now the army is complete and there is even some orcs doing a push workout. Elion hears an orc talking about Isengard, so he needs to travel there next. First of all, I added the Tower of Orthanc with Saruman, and now we need to make the fully armored Urukai army. So I made this long spear, which is really tall, and threw this one from Lego where it belongs. I also added this very expensive helmet, and this really got out of hand. The Berserker from Lego looks kinda cursed, so I got this custom helmet and added it. This looks way better, boys. Then I filled two base plates with 200 Urukai, so that's a lot of minifigures. And I even added this cool banner. Elyon sees this and is overwhelmed, so he needs to warn El but not before traveling to Mordor. So he travels there, but then he suddenly notices that the orc army is already on the way. First, I made an orc with full armor and an axe so he can crush his enemies. Then I made this orc with full armor and a sword and an orc with a different helmet and this archer who can shoot some of the good guys. There's also some trolls making beats in the movie, so I have to cave troll and added this drum with some drumsticks so he can make us a track. The Mortar Orc army consists of around 120 orcs, and I also added Gothmok, who's ready to lead all the orcs into war. And you can also wage war in Middle-earth yourself by joining our giveaway and downloading The Lord of the Rings Rise to War. The Lord of the Rings Rise to War is a game where you can control an army from your favorite faction, like Mordor, Isengard, and Gondor. Upgrade your stronghold, expand your forces, and add famous commanders from the movies. Start conquering Middle-earth now, and join our giveaway in which we're giving away two of these epic Mordor Orc minifigures. All you have to do to enter is play Rise to War on iOS or Android, subscribe to Brickly, and comment your favorite army from this video in the comment section down below. And thanks to the Lord of the Rings Rise to War for sponsoring this video. Alright, so for this next army, Elion is on his way back to Rivendell, but he gets chased by a hunter orc army. So for this, I grabbed these hunter orcs from the Hobbit and added a bunch of swords and bows to them. Other than the legs, these orcs are quite similar to the Mordor orcs. So I created this orc army with a lot of different accessories, and next up, Elion escapes to a cave. 
Elyon ends up in Goblin Town, and there's a bunch of goblins, so I tried to make a lot of different goblins by turning their torsos around and adding some weird weapons. They're led by the Goblin King, and there's also this little scribe in his cart, and sometimes he even falls out. Elyon quickly escapes and returns to Rivendell. He and Elrond write some letters together in hopes that their allies will come to aid. So let's start building the armies of the good guys. An elf in Mirkwood receives the letter and goes inside the kingdom. Here we can find King Thranduil sitting on his throne chilling, but he doesn't like mingling in affairs of others. Although in this video he's closely allied with the good guys and will play the kinda happy guy, so for this I built an elven kingdom, but then the elves receive a letter from the messenger of Rivendell. At first Thranduil doesn't really want to help, but since he's the happy guy in this video he calls all his troops to war, and they grab their equipment and get ready for battle. All of these elven minifigures are beautiful, with these green torsos and hoods. And they can even hide between the bushes, guys. Now that the army is ready to march out, Thranderwolf jumps on his deer, which I got from a Lego Christmas set, and rides out of the forest. Elrond sends a letter to Gondor, and at first Denethor, the steward of Gondor, isn't very happy with this letter since it arrived later. You see, the letter was given to Faramir who had to defend Eskiliath against an orc army, but then he couldn't deliver it because he had to defend it, but then he delivered it a week later. Yeah, a lot of but thens. And then Denethor called him a failure and asked his brother Boromir to fight in his war. <sighs> that was exhausting to explain. Boromir will lead the army of Gondor, but then we need soldiers. For this, I have these custom soldiers from TNR customs, which look very accurate. There's also some of these rangers so they can hunt some orcs in the woods. And because the army is quite small, I got even more custom Gondorian soldiers, and the faces of these minifigures are gonna give you nightmares. Now let's build the army of Rohan. LEGO released this minifigure with a bow and quiver, and I have over 50 of these minifigures, which is less than half of what I hoped for. So I grabbed my minifigure heads to create different characters, like old men who can't really fight, and even some minifigures with different beards to have a bit of variety in hair color. In addition to the Rohan helmet, I made a soldier with a viking helmet and an axe. With all of these Rohan minifigures, our army is almost ready, because we need one more thing. Yes, that's right, we need some horses. So I grabbed my horses and added most of the minifigures to them so they can easily destroy an orc army in combat. And before we move on to the battle, let's take a look at two bonus armies. So one of my favorite armies has to be the Army of the Dead from the Return of the King, and LEGO only included two of these minifigures in quite an expensive set. And after saving up enough money, I finally got more of these minifigures. With this, my army stands at 8 Soldiers of the Dead, which might sound small, but they're so expensive. And I also got this pirate ship and added a giant pirate army with many different pirates and of course Captain Jack Sparrow leading them. But why is the rum gone? So Elrond and the High Command draw battle plans, while all of the men prepare for the battle battle and have their final drinks together. Elyon goes to bed and the next morning all of the elves and men get information. The archers are in the back and the spears in front. They wait and hear the sounds of marching. The orc army marches closer and has many spearmen as well as swordsmen and archers and some orcs with axes to unleash some horror. This old man from Helm's Deep does some target practice and makes the orcs very angry. First they sent their hunter orcs and take out a few soldiers in the first line of defense. This was a failure so then they sent the bulk of the army who overrun the first line of defense. The elves fire arrows, but there are just too many orcs. The line gets broken and the orc army sends in heavy armored soldiers. Elyon is still fighting in first line, but has to retreat because they're about to get surrounded. But then, suddenly, they hear a horn and see a lot of horses on the horizon. As planned, the Rohirrim will ambush the orc army from behind, and there's also an army of dwarves. Fortunately for everybody, they decided to help defend Middle-earth and settle their differences with the elves. The cavalry cuts into the orc lines and they get ambushed from both sides. The orcs quickly start losing numbers because of the dwarves rampaging into the army and have to fall back. Elyon and Elrond thank all of the men, dwarves and elves for their aid and return to Rivendell. There's a big feast because they've won this battle, but the war for Middle-earth has only just begun.